Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to write a product review uh, with Jarvis Boss Mode using the recipe that I just created. So, as you can see, I'm in my Jarvis.ai dashboard. Uh, if you don't have Jarvis yet, you can get a free trial for it using my link, which will be in the description below. And uh, I've called this recipe the ultimate product review recipe for super bosses because I am hilarious and it's actually very simple. Uh, all you need to do is go through, fill in the curly brackets, which are these with, uh, well, re replace the curly brackets rather with, um, with what it asks for. So it's mostly just the name of the product that you're reviewing, but I think that it also requires a description here. Um, doesn't have to be a really good product description. You can just put some bullet points of uh, you know the features and what it is, and uh, you go through and run each command. And then once you have the bones of it, you go back and you can just expand what's already written using the normal Jarvis compose function. Um, so it's all right here. Um, I will also put the link to this recipe in the description of this video so that you can just uh, load it right into your account nice and easily and so I'm just going to hit run and I will actually show you how to use this. So the product that I'm going to review is going to be uh, a product called PR Rage and then I'm just going to get rid of this and turn this into an H1 which is what you want to do with each of these things. Uh, anywhere that it says H2, it's a H2, H1, H1, H3, H3, and you want to change that into a heading and then get rid of the part that tells you which heading to make it. All right. So now I just need to write, so I'm going to put this over here as well. So right here, I just need to write a brief description. It can be bullet points. Um, so pretty much PR Rage is a... domain, I don't even know what to call it, is a cloud-based app that makes it easier to find good expired domains to buy. That's a good description of what it is. PRH scans GoDaddy's auction marketplace and other domain marketplaces and pulls relevant data into a handy dashboard. PRH Save a list of domains in or later review. Okay, so that's, I could go a lot more detailed than that, but that's probably going to be good. So I'm just going to change this to a bullet list and we'll put this right here just in case. And now we're going to start running the commands. So it is uh, control enter to run a boss mode command, but uh, if you use control shift enter, it'll run the con command without consuming it, without deleting it. So I normally use control shift enter, and that's what I just did. And here we have a list of title ideas. They're not very good, but it's a list of title ideas. So let's try that again. Kind of like part of this one. How can you make? Maybe I'll say best domain flipping app. That's good enough for now. So now that I'm done with this command, I'm just going to, oops. Um, yeah, now that I'm done with this command, I'm going to get rid of this as well 
close this. Oops, I just deleted my title. Or no, I didn't. Okay, I'm tired. Um, here we go. So now I just need to remove this, turn this into an H2, put in the product name, and then we run the next command, which is write a product description for PR Rage. Control Shift Enter. PR Rage is a domain flipping app that makes it easier to find good expired domains to buy. PR Rage scans GoDaddy's auction. PR Rage scans GoDaddy's auction marketplace and other domain marketplaces and pulls relevant data into a handy dashboard. PR Rage enables you to save a list of descriptive of domain you're interested in. That's just what I wrote. What are you trying to pull here, Jarvis? I'm not here to do your work for you. Okay, it's just writing what I wrote, so that's not good. Let's try structuring it as this. See what it does. Okay, none of those are helpful. Now this happens sometimes with uh, this just happens sometimes with all AI copywriting tools, so you need to be a little bit patient with it and just run the command again. Okay, so I'm going to try using rephrase because it just keeps rewriting. All right, we'll use that. And now we have a uh, uh, answer to the question what is PR rage so if it just if it keeps doing that to you uh, normally it doesn't do that but if it uh, like it didn't with the last one that I did I actually made this live in a in a live video and uh, I did a Jarvis AI review as I was making this uh, using the same commands and uh, it worked very well so this isn't really normal, but if it's doing that to you, then just take what it writes and uh, use the use the rephrase option, and that seemed to work pretty well. All right. So next up, we have uh, H3, which is the top benefits. I'll get rid of that. I will put in PR Rage, turn it into an H3, and then run the next command after putting. And control shift enter to run the command. And with a nice looking dashboard that pulls data from different sources, the dashboard helps you find expired domains to buy based on filters like domain endings, auction listings, and keyword density. That's actually kind of true. Except for this. So I'll just say and more. It makes it easy to send your list of favorite domains directly to GoDaddy's auction marketplace. I don't think that's true, but that's okay. Um, we're just kind of demonstrating this. I don't want to get too bogged down in it. Oh, but it didn't write me a list. Okay, so again, that can happen sometimes. I'm going to save that text though because it's not terrible. Uh, so we'll just do this again. Here we go. Now we're getting a list. So we'll put this above. And now we've got a nice little paragraph about benefits and we've got a list of benefits. And um, the next command is write a paragraph expanding the above benefit. And so what we're gonna do is take this and put it underneath of each one and run it right there. I'm just going to do all of them and then we'll go back and see how it actually did. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to take the time to edit those. Uh, I realize if you're, if you're actually reading the content that it's generating and you're thinking to yourself, that doesn't look very good. Well, it doesn't always generate uh, good content. Um, if I was doing this for real, then I would 
make sure it's good and I would regenerate as necessary. But just for the purposes of this, I wanna get through it as quickly as I can, which already taken a bit of time. And I wanna demonstrate how to use this, not how to make it perfect. Um, so again, delete this, make it into an H2 and put in the name. Oops. And now we run this command. Now we have a list of the pros. Get rid of this. Now we run the cons command. And now we're on to the next heading, my experience using the product. And this one actually worked really well when I was testing this. So let's see how it goes here. <laughs> on the nose, but okay. Well, it went for a long time there. There we go. And then the conclusion. Should you buy it? And of course you can change these to anything you want. You can use Jarvis to generate more subheading ideas. These are just some really common subheading ideas that I see in other people's reviews all the time and that I also use in my reviews sometimes. That wasn't very good, we're gonna do it again. There we go, it's giving me something. All right, so now all that we have left is the content and it is over 800 words of, uh, of content uh, ready to go. And all that we would need to do now is go back and use the normal compose function as we normally would to write long form with Jarvis boss mode, or with, with Jarvis, not with boss mode, just the normal control J compose button over here. So like right here where it, it doesn't end this sentence, I can just put the cursor right there and hit compose and it's going to write about the prose for me. So actually I need this, I'm not sure why it gave it to me here, but I do need this down here. Um, there we go. And now we're up to over 900 words. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty easy to use this boss mode recipe, although it is um, a bit longer than some, uh, just because reviews are a little bit more involved or a little bit more specific than you know maybe a generic article or a generic landing page. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment if you've got any requests for uh, recipes on Jarvis. I'd be happy to make one uh, if there's anything specific that you want to write. And I will catch you in the next video.